Hey, what's up guys? Today we have two of the Audi 4s. We have the Audi 4 Pro and the Pro S. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the differences and similarities that they both have. If you're in the market for an Audi 4, I really think that you should stick to the end of the video to have as much information as you can about the Audi 4 in general. Without further ado, let's go ahead and start the review. The 4 Pro is going to be the base model of the ID4 2023. Exterior design, they all have the same exact exterior design. It's just that the Pro S would have a little bit more lighting on the exterior. For example, the front Volkswagen emblem would actually light up at night just like so, including you have their running lights over here that runs all the way in the middle lights up the volkswagen and then continue lighting into the other end which is pretty pretty cool on the pro you still have their running lights but it's just gonna be two small lines on that area and not in the middle the back ladies and gentlemen they all very very similar in design as well this one you have led tail lights that goes across the whole back and you have volkswagen logo and id4 in the back and the Pro S would have the same exact thing. The only difference is that the Volkswagen logo actually lights up in red at night. And it has the ID4 logo. So it's just literally a little bit more lighting on the exterior. But the real difference is going to be on the inside of these cars. Inside of the ID4 Pro, you would have cloth interior, cloth door handle, and half cloth half leather interior on the back seats and also you're going to have your AC two USB-C chargers small pockets for your wallet or phone same thing down here and no panoramic sunroof and really really cool front on the front you would have the same exact thing on the back half cloth half leather the ID4 logo and a really nice steering wheel with touch screen buttons on the steering wheel which is pretty pretty cool so as soon as you come in you hit the brake the car will be on and you can see the changes of the steering wheel screen there is more information right now you have your adaptive cruise control keep landing assist that means you have the emergency brakes on the front and back and it's available in self park control which is pretty sick for a base model right this is also going to be your menu buttons you have apple carplay android auto wireless charger two usb-c chargers and your cup holders of course now is going to be the pro s let's go ahead and talk about the interior so inside of the pro s you would have leather or leatherette door handles leatherette interior all the seat is going to be in leatherette which is pretty pretty cool and soft you would have your ac controls here same exact thing and your two usb-c chargers however you would have the panoramic roof here which you can close from the front on the front side of the pro s same thing leather red door handles and the real change is going to be here you have two memory seats and a massage seats for the front passengers front console is going to be the same exact thing you would have your small screen in the front your gear selector and a touch screen you would have apple carplay android auto wireless connecting in here as well wireless charger to usb-c chargers and this one have ambient lighting as well as self park control so it just honestly do you want leather seats and a panoramic sunroof and a massage seats then go for the pro s if you want to save some money and you want a nice electric car then go for the pro and in case you are wondering about the quality ride on the Pro or the Pro S, they are very similar, have the same mileage, same exact charging time, everything is so similar. So if you go with the Pro, you really won't lose much. This is my review, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you so much for watching. Do not forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel to see more of these videos. And let me know down in the comment which one would you choose.